How to play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Split Screen on PC. <laughs> Drugs. Play multiplayer, terrorist hunt, or outbreak with just one copy of the game. This only works for the Steam version. You can do this through the Operation Throwback Project, which lets you play older versions of Siege using your legit Steam copy. Yeah, no, we are, we are in copper, bro. We are actually in copper, dude. Create an install folder for our 6 downloader. Like at C, Games, our 6 downloader. Do not put this in C, Users, or any of its subdirectories. Add this folder as an exclusion in your Windows Defender settings. Download our 6 downloader using the link in the description. Run the setup and ignore the stupid virus warnings. Install to your created install folder. Run our 6 downloader. Select the version you want to play. Only vanilla 2 year for season 4 is supported right now. Let's choose vanilla. You'll be asked to set a download folder. Create a downloads folder in your R6 downloader directory. You'll have to enter your Steam credentials to begin your download. This is so R6 downloader can use the Steam API to access the selected Siege version. Give the game a test run once the download is finished. Run it with Rainbow Six, Bat. Now it's time to get Nucleus Co-op, which will run the game in split screen. Download and install the Nucleus Co-op app. Ignore all the stupid virus warnings. Install to see Nucleus Scoop. Go to Windows Defender and add the C Nucleus Scoop folder to the exclusion list. Now run Nucleus as an administrator. Click Download Game Handler and search for Rainbow Six Siege. Click the Download button. Click Yes to locate the game executable. Navigate to your Game Install folder and select Rainbow Six.exe. The handler is now in your library. Let's click on it. Available input devices will appear at the top. You can assign either a controller or a mouse and keyboard to an instance. Press any button or key on your input device to highlight it. Click this to select a layout. I'll choose the two-player horizontal layout. Drag and drop your input devices to the layout. You may also plug in an extra monitor and assign players to it. Click the green arrow here. Enable R6 Liberator to play Terrorist Hunt or Outbreak. I'll disable it for now. You can scale the per instance resolution to improve performance. You can also set the graphics setting to a preset. Click the play button to start the session. Wait for each instance to start and reposition. Your inputs will now be locked. Press the end key to unlock them when you want to end the session. Player 1 can host a match by going to Multiplayer, Custom Game, Local, and Create. Create and save a playlist. Everyone else can go to Multiplayer, Custom Game, Local, and Join. Players on the same local network can also join the lobby. Press the right stick button or the S key to begin the match. And that's it for multiplayer setup. To do Terrorist Hunt, enable the R6 Liberator option before starting the session. When R6 Liberator opens, press Windows key plus tab. Drag and drop the R6 Liberator window to a new desktop. This will make it easier to switch to later. Go back to your primary desktop and press OK on the prompt. Set up a multiplayer lobby like before. Move everyone to the blue team. Press the end key to unlock inputs and then Windows key tab to R6 Liberator. Open the terrorist hunt category and select a map. Click on it until you get this confirmation message. 
Windows key tab back to your primary desktop and lock inputs with end. Start the match and you'll jump straight into your selected scenario. To do Outbreak, download the Operation Chimera version of Siege, which was Year 3 Season 1. Repeat the same steps you took to set up a terrorist hunt lobby. In your R6 Liberator window, there should now be an Outbreak category. It's Pew Pew time. If you need help, join the Nucleus Discord, go to the hashtag support channel, and tag at Happy Express.